This is a 120 Q&A practice test. Plaintiff attorney, Mr. Pratt, capital P-R-A-T-T. -T. Defense attorney, Ms. M.S. period Phillips, capital P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S. And we'll start with plaintiff attorney. Ready? Mr. Sanders, where are you from, sir? New Holstein, Wisconsin. I'm going to direct your attention to the 31st of October, 2005. Ask if you remember that day. Yes, I do. And did you make any contact that day with a young woman that you later learned was Sue Wallace? Yes, I did. Tell the jury, please, how it was that you made contact with Ms. Wallace. I had a car for sale. She contacted me that day. She was going to be here about 1.30. She showed up. She did a photo of my car. I gave her a check. She gave me a receipt with a bag with information in it and then she left. I'm going to show you what's been received as exhibit number five. Ask you if you can direct your attention to the large screen. Is this the woman that you made contact with the afternoon of the 31st? Yes, it is. Mr. Sanders, how long? Was it that this transaction occurred? In other words, how long did it take for Ms. Wallace to take the photographs, get paid, give you the information, and be on her way? 10 to 15 minutes max. Where did this transaction take place? In my driveway. In New Holstein? Yeah. You're quite sure it was around 1.30 p.m.? Yes, I am. The vehicle that's depicted here in exhibit number five, the bluish green SUV, was that the vehicle that Ms. Wallace was driving, if you remember? Yes. Can you tell the jury, please, how Ms. Wallace was dressed that day, if you remember? She had blue jeans on, button-up white blouse, and a spring jacket waist length. I believe it was blue in color. I don't expect you to know this, Mr. Sanders, but I will ask it anyway. Do you know what kind or what brand of blue jeans she was wearing? No. How long did you say the jacket was that she had on? I would say about waist length. It was like a summer jacket. How was she paid, if you remember? I gave her a check. After Ms. Wallace concluded her transaction with you, do you know which way she left, which way she drove? She headed north on Highway A, and for those of us not familiar with the New Holstein area, does going north on Highway A intersect with any large roads that we would know? It was formerly Highway 149, now I believe it's HH. What's north of that is what I'm asking. 151 if you keep going north. 151 would be the main road or the main trunk road between would be Chilton and the Calumet County area and Manitowoc. Is that right? Yes. Ms. Wallace appear upset to you when you met with her? No. Very friendly and very polite the information or the papers that she left with you. Do you recall those? Can you describe them? Yeah, one was a for sale sign. There was a book that was the auto trader. 
and then there was like a contract if you were to sell your vehicle how to fill it out properly like a sales receipt so a receipt and an auto trader magazine is that right right do you recall what this receipt looked like it was a larger white thing probably six by eight square just a common receipt do you know what it was called you didn't keep it did you no no i think that's all i have of mr sanders all right the word list we have mr sanders capital s a n d e r s new holstein wisconsin capital n e w new word capital h o l s t e i n sue wallace capital s u e new word capital w a l l a c e Highway A, capital H on highway, and then just a capital A, Highway A. Highway 149 would be capital H on highway, and then HH is just capital H, two, capital H, capital H, no periods, no spaces. Chilton, capital C-H-I-L-T-O-N. Calumet County, capital C-A-L-U-M-E-T. Capital C on county, Calumet County. Manitowoc, and that is capital M-A-N-I-T-O-W-O-C. Auto Trader, capital A U T O, new word, capital T R A D E R. And that is it for the word list, and that will conclude our 120 QA practice test.